Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, for our schedule today, we have a class at 11.45 a.m. So if you haven't signed up yet, jump on board. Uh, we'll be still running the class on Zoom, so just sign up on MindBody as you normally would. And uh, we'll send you an email link to follow, and we will see you guys today on Zoom. As far as the, uh, we're, as most of you guys know, we're doing a nutrition challenge right now, the quarantine challenge. Uh, this is wrapping up week three now. I've already received some uh, emails from you guys saying how good you're doing. Uh, I've, the few people that I have seen around, uh, some noticeable differences, so I'm really excited to hear how you guys are doing. If you haven't reached out yet, shoot us an email, shoot me an email, let me know how things are going. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. I'll pass it to you guys for today's workout. All right guys, so we got three little mini workouts here. We've got an AMRAP 8 of 20 pull-ups, 20 uh, wall balls, 20 V-sits. Then we're gonna rest four minutes and we're gonna repeat the same movements, cut the reps in half, 10 pull-ups, 10 wall balls, 10 V-sits, and then AMRAP 4. Then we're gonna do the same thing at the end, AMRAP 2, five of everything. The rest is gonna stay the same, Time is gonna go down and the reps are gonna go down, but your intensity should go up each time you do an interval. So that first eight minutes, let's say, you're going at 70 to 80 percent. Then for that four minutes, you're going 80 to 90, and then the end, you're going 90 to 100 percent. Or you can think of it as a 400 meter run, 200 meter run, and then a 100 meter sprint at the end there. So kind of uh, pace it like that, guys. For all the movements today, again, you can substitute different styles. If you have a pull up bar, go pull up bar, or you can do your towel pull ups, any style, or even rows are an option. But make sure you're keeping that intensity high um, as you progress down in the intervals. Uh, post your scores, guys. Let us know how many reps you guys get, rounds you get in each section in the YouTube below. Uh, we'd love to hear that. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to pass it over to Chris for the afterburner. All right guys, so we have some uh, mobility after that uh, AMRAP 2 of 90 to 100%. That's intense, that's scary. We're gonna cool down with some nice, easy stretching. Uh, the first one is uh, the pigeon stretch. We've gone over that one before. We'll show you exactly what we're working on, but that's a fantastic one for your glutes, for your hips uh, to loosen up, at, especially after a lot of wall balls and knee sets like this one. Uh, open up that hip flexor as well. And then we have another glute slash hip stretch, so we're really gonna be working on the glutes and hips today in our afterburner, which is a problematic area for a lot of you guys at home for getting stiff, we're doing lots of sitting these days too. So, uh, perfect movements for that. We will see you shortly for the workout. All right guys, we're here for the warm up. So we're gonna start off with an active lat stretch. So get you guys just coming down to the floor. Probably done this one before in class. Uh, we're gonna reach the opposite corner of our body there. And we're gonna push our lat down to the floor, so in the opposite direction of our hand. And as we're here, I want you guys to kind of pull that shoulder blade in, and then push that shoulder blade away as you're doing that stretch. It's gonna go 60 seconds, just alternate between those two positions, trying to lengthen the lat as much as you can, and trying to get some activation in that scat. Once you're done 60 seconds on one side, repeat on the same on the opposite side. Then we're gonna go into our warm up which is 10 down to two of um, uh, reps for plank scap retractions, Bulgarian squats, and strict overhead press. So for the plank scap retractions, guys, you're gonna get into that plank off your forearms. Stay nice and static, core tight, tucked in. We're gonna drop those shoulders in, so we're gonna let those shoulders kind of sink down, and then we're gonna push those shoulder blades away as much as we can and separate them on our mid-back. And as we're doing this, guys, we don't want to let our hips sag, so make sure you're keeping that core tight. We want to move just through those shoulder blades. Another way to think about that, guys, when you're on the ground, think about pushing your forearms into the floor as you're pushing away, and then getting relaxed in those shoulder blades as you're coming down. Just make sure you're in that nice plank. We're going to be doing 10 reps to start off. Then we're going to go into some Bulgarian squats. Um, we're going to go for 10 per side here, so with those Bulgarian squats, find an object where you can elevate that one foot. Um, from there, we're gonna bend at the knee, trying to keep ourselves as tall as possible, and making sure that when we're coming down, that we have our weight in our midfoot, so we're not getting onto that toe, we're nice and planted, and then we're gonna drive straight up. So be careful if you guys are not dropping your chest over, try to stay as tall as possible as you're coming down. 
down, and back up. 10 reps on one side and 10 on the opposite. Then we're gonna go into some strict press. So grab an object, we're gonna go 10 reps on the one side, keep this nice and slow. I like to keep the descent nice and slow as I'm coming down. So we're gonna press it up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then keep that elbow in as I'm descending that weight down to my shoulder. And again, reset, make sure everything's nice and tight, and again, press straight overhead. Another good cue is to think about kind of keeping that bicep close to the ear as your overhead, stay nice and locked out. Also, don't forget to squeeze the shoulder blades at the top every single rep. We're trying to get that activation. So once you're done 10 reps, repeat. You're gonna go eight, six, four, and then all the way down to two. Once you're done, we'll see you guys next for the workout. All right guys, so for today's workout, we have an eight minute AMRAP. We're doing 20 pull-ups, 20 wall balls, 20 V-sits. Uh, for the pull-ups, I'm gonna give you guys two variations. The first one you can do using a weight. So you can do these, uh, if you have dumbbells at home or something, you can use that. Or you can use a backpack, a med ball, anything like that. And we're just gonna go for some bent over rows. So my back's nice and flat, shoulders are down, and I'm just keeping my elbows tight to the body, and I'm pulling that object in towards my chest. If you guys have uh, something set up, maybe like from the uh, door cam, we showed you guys how you use a sheet to create a potential pull-up situation. Um, so you can just lean back, holding on to your sheet or your ring or strap or whatever you got going on, and you're just gonna pull your body in, squeezing those shoulder blades. Notice how I'm keeping those elbows tight to my body, so I don't wanna flare out. I want to tr try to keep those elbows down, shoulders back, and pinned together to work on that middle back. If you have a pull-up bar station, of course, you can just go with regular pull-ups. After that, we're going for 20 wall balls. If you guys don't have a med ball, again, you can use any ball, um, even if it's like a soccer ball, basketball, something like that, totally fine. We're starting off with the squat. In that squat, you're going to try to keep that back and chest nice and tall. We're going to come all the way down into that squat. The elbows are in, the knees go outward, down to below parallel. Then you're going to use your hip to drive that object up. We're going to drill the ball against the wall, catch it, come back down into a squat. If you're comfortable with that, you can keep stringing them together. What I want you guys to focus on is your breathing. Breathe with the movement. So in through the nose on the way down, out through the mouth on the way up. Uh, for a set of 20, that's quite a lot to not breathe, so you want to keep that moving. After we're done our 20 wall balls, we're going for 20 V-sits. So the first progression of a V-sit would just be your standard sit-up. So in a sit-up, you can put a towel in your lower back, something like that, you can come all the way down, come up, touch the shoes. If you guys want to do jack knives, that's the next progression. We're gonna start off in that hollow body position. So that rib cage is in, top of my butt's touching the ground, top, uh, my low back, shoulder blades are off, my knees come in towards my chest for the jack. If you guys feel comfortable with that, the final progression is the V-sit. For the V-sit, it's the same thing, but our legs stay straight. You can try to touch your toes with your hands if you like. If you don't quite get that distance, that's totally fine too. Notice, so that's your, your first eight minute AMRAP is 20 of each of those movements. You're gonna rest four minutes. The goal, it's a lot of rest. The goal here is to just get yourself completely back down to normal. Once you're done that, we're gonna get into a four minute AMRAP, but we're doing 10, 10, 10 instead of the 20 of each things. So as far as your rep schemes go, whatever you guys got on your first, however many rounds you get on that eight minute AMRAP, you kinda wanna double that in the four minute AMRAP. You're gonna pick up your pace, so you should be doing double and even a little bit more than that because you're doing the half the reps. So you're gonna pick up your pace, uh, as Yash mentioned at the whiteboard, then you're gonna rest for four more minutes. Once you are again caught up with your breath, the final AMRAP is just two minutes, but you're doing five, five, five. So at that point, we're just going for that sprint. We're going for that really fast pace. You should double your reps once, or double your rounds, sorry, once again. Enjoy this workout, it'll be a fun one. We'll see you for the after beer. Okay, hopefully you had a good workout, got that done under 15 minutes. Uh, now it's time to cool off and get some glute stretching and activation. So starting off with the pigeon uh, pose here, you guys, we're gonna go for 60 seconds to side. 
You're actually going to start in that high plank, so that push position. He's going to drive his knee up towards his wrist. His heel is in line, in his case, in line with his um, knee. Now, if you don't have that flexibility, that's fine. You can lower that heel down a bit. I know sometimes myself, if I have my heel a little higher, I create a little bit of impingement in my hip. So I got to find that right position to not feel that impingement. So play around with it based on your flexibility. You're trying to stretch out the glute on that side. Two, you're also trying to stretch out your hip flexor by bringing your hip towards the floor or towards your heel. By doing that, you're, again, you're stretching the hip flexor. You can get a little bit deeper in your stretch by dropping down towards your elbows or the floor, which again, it will intensify your stretch a little bit more. And if that's available to you, go right ahead. You're hanging out there for a minute total, so maybe you don't start there, you work up to that, okay? After you've done that for one minute, you're gonna do the other side for one minute, okay? Once you've completed both sides, then you're gonna go into your glute hip stretch and activation. So find yourself a spot on the wall. You're gonna cross over. So one heel's on the wall. You're gonna cross over. Then you're gonna lower your hips down towards the floor. As you lower your hips down to the floor, you're stretching the glute there. So while you're stretching the glute, you're gonna create some activation. So what you wanna see today is you're gonna push your knee down towards the wall. Okay, which gets a little bit deeper stretch in your glute. Do that for about 10 seconds. Then you're gonna bring your knee in, where you gotta use your adductor to bring it up and in to activate that muscle. Hold that for about 10 seconds. You're gonna repeat that back and forth, back and forth, about 10 seconds each position for a total of one minute before you switch sides. So again, this is not just a, a stretch, you are stretching your glute, but you're also activating your adductor, which is gonna help those hips feel a lot better um, start off the week and from that we're working, okay? But with this guys, we'll see you tomorrow.